Huddersfield, Yorkshire. With its overcast skies, it may not seem an ideal spot for solar power, but Kirkley's council is pushing locals to the front line of UK solar generation initiatives with low-cost homes and luxury apartments, making Huddersfield the UK's first and largest sun city, a model for every town in the UK. Fernside Crescent, Almondbury, a suburb of Huddersfield, may look like a typical council estate, but these seemingly ordinary homes hide a space-age secret which is powering them into the 21st century. The project that you see here um, is part of a bigger project called Sun Cities, uh, where Kirkley's uh, partnered with uh, other local authorities in the Netherlands and Germany. And the aim of the project was to put lots and lots of solar PV uh, in Europe to drive down the cost of PV and obviously as a result to reduce people's fuel bills, um, to reduce uh, carbon dioxide emissions. Yeah, you might think, um, you know, if you've been to, to Spain or around uh, Italy, they put in the solar hot water heating systems. Um, but here, I guess you could look at it in terms of how much electricity does it make for the household. Roughly up to sort of 15% of householders' electricity needs. Doreen Atfield is one of those proud householders. They finally, I think, the switch was on in August. Um, so we were sort of the first of the area to have them. I'm really pleased about it. My cupboard's a bit full up, actually. I think February 28th, it was 254. April 16th, we were 347. I think it's going to be uh, great for me as far as my electric bill is concerned because we're all electric and uh, that is our big bill. Um, as I'm a pensioner now, that's going to really help with my income. Now that the panels are accepted as part of life by the residents, the only change is a friendly rivalry. Over at Fernside, uh, there's been competitions <laughs> for how much energy that they've produced. Well, I think that they'll be saying, oh, how's yours making more than mine? So I think that's going to be really interesting, you know. My neighbours actually was higher in kilowatts than mine last year. But over the winter time, I make more kilowatts than what she did. With an average of less than four hours sun a day, it's not surprising that the initial plans were greeted with scepticism. Key to adoption was the local residents' association. That was my job then, to go around and uh, inform our tenants. Well, what are they going to do? I said, well, they're going to put some solar power on your roof. What's that for? Well, it's all for different heating and that, and of course I don't understand the technology of it. So I had to get the, the officers then to explain it to the tenants. In nearby Primrose Hill, new houses built to the highest eco standards are incorporating solar PV and water heating technologies and are springing up next to older houses that have been fitted with the panels. Down here, this is Primrose Hill Solar Village and the houses on the outside um, have been here for a while. They're managed by Kirkley's Neighbourhood Housing. Uh, they've had uh, solar photovoltaic and solar thermal systems retrofitted or bolted onto the roof, so they sort of sit on top of the roof. Um, in the middle are Yorkshire Housing Group uh, new houses, um, and they've had solar PV and solar thermal systems integrated into the roofs. Outside the city, old mill buildings, many of them derelict, stand as reminders of the textile industry. This one is being transformed into luxury private flats complete with a spa and restaurant, yet aims to be completely carbon neutral, proving that pampering and green energy can coexist. The house building industry is a very traditionally based industry, but our marketplace is a very traditionally placed marketplace as well. We have pioneered the coming together of a traditional industry and a traditional marketplace with the innovation of green energy. Converting a listed building isn't easy, so to augment the solar panels, a biomass boiler will provide the bulk of its heating and electricity. The sustainable energy buzz is spreading throughout the Kirklees area, and it's now hoped the council can use its knowledge to widen the market for solar power.
Our plans for uh, if we win the Ashton Award from the Sun Cities project is to have a mentoring uh, program for housing associations and particularly include messages of climate change and energy efficiency, the whole picture. <laughs>